welcome to Corinne Star Tarot Aries. So this is your reading for July 2020. And I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot deck and Nature's Whispers. And please don't forget, as usual, that this is a general reading. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then all the links to that are in the description below this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video. Also, if you're interested in donating to my channel, then all the links are in the description below this video. And cross watchers are welcome to join this reading. So let's begin. So your first card is the Eight of Wands. I think in July you are going to be receiving some communication. For some of you it could be related to a job, it could be a job offer I think and some of you might find that this communication could be from someone that you perhaps have grown quite fond of. I'm not quite sure at the moment whether this is a person that is a love interest at the mo at this particular point. It could be. But I get the impression for some of you that you could already be in a relationship with someone. But I do feel that there is definitely a spark or some sort of connection between this person that you're in contact with. That something is makes you very drawn to this person and one's this fire energy. So... Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and then the next card you have is the Three of Pentacles so with the Three of Pentacles I see that you perhaps are wanting to get involved with this person perhaps there is an idea within you, perhaps, for some of you, that you would like to have some sort of collaboration or partnership with this person. It might, for some of you, involve a job. You know, it might be that you, for some of you, if it's not involving love, it could be that you... The job that you might be, the new, well, I should say a new job that you might be considering accepting could involve some sort of collaboration or partnership, or it could involve you being part of a team. And it, very creative, I think. I can see a collaboration of ideas being bounced around between all of you that it could be quite a rewarding collaboration I think some of you might be trying to create a, an environment of trust building up that trust between someone that, that there's someone that you're 
perhaps trying to work out something with it's a bit clouded at the moment my image but it is it's involving trust building up that trust perhaps to some of you there were issues and you're trying to repair some of the damage perhaps and pentacles is earth energy so capricorn taurus or virgo the next we have the four of wands I do feel for a lot of you, you are perhaps trying to create stability within your life, you know, making sure that, you know, you have that balance, trying to create, you know, a solid foundation for yourself to create a better, more stable, steady, secure future for yourself. It might be that for some of you who are involved with some someone that maybe the person you're with wants more commitment from you. Perhaps you're the one that's holding back on that because you're not 100% sure for whatever reason. But this person would like a more solid commitment from you, I feel. And Wands is Fire and G, so Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Then we have the Queen of Cups. With the Queen of Cups, I feel very much like you are perhaps looking at this relationship that if you're currently in a relationship with someone that you are analyzing it looking to see whether you want to perhaps continue down this road with this person looking to see if this is what you really want in the long term you're very perhaps confused in your head you I don't think you're totally sure. You don't, I don't think some of you know the real reason why. You know, you're not, you're just not sure that this is for you, I think. And I think for some of you, if, if your person wants a bigger commitment from you, it's, it's giving you pause, you know, you're, you're kind of thinking about whether this is really what you want. I think for you Pisces in general, I feel that you're in a kind of very rewarding period. Sorry, Pisces, I said. For you Aries in general, general, you're in this kind of rewarding time, I think, creative, creatively. You know, I feel that you, that your ideas are going to be quite, quite good you know you're going to have quite a lot of ideas coming into you and they're going to it's almost and you're going to perhaps put them in some of those ideas into practice in the career front and I feel that they will be quite natural they will flow quite naturally you know I think you will be at, at in a state of high creativity most definitely I think for some of you also, there'll be a need to want to heal past wounds, you know. I think there's certain things coming back to haunt you. Things that you're not completely free of in your head. That perhaps are creating that cloudiness in your mind. And I think for some of you, you're just not sure about a certain relationship and cups is water energy so pisces cancer and scorpio then the next card you have is the four of pentacles so i definitely think that you are being hold perhaps holding on to your emotions you know 
regard where your partner's concerned you know perhaps perhaps you're not completely being open with your partner about the way you feel and because perhaps you, you you're a type of person that needs to kind of figure it out in your own head first before you confront your partner with it but I get the feeling that you are not happy completely in your situation and maybe you've been quietly keeping it to yourself you know not sharing how you feel and but then it might be the fact that you don't want to perhaps hurt this other person's feelings but I do feel that you're on the verge of having that kind of emotional outpouring you know you could find that emotions will rise to the surface and perhaps even erupt I feel that the other person might be pretty confused by the way you've been behaving of late perhaps because they don't understand why you're being this way because you haven't perhaps shared your true feelings with this person I feel that you perhaps are drawn to another person and Pentacles is Earth energy so Capricorn Taurus or Virgo then we have the seven of Pentacles so yeah you have worked hard within this relationship there was a point where you you know you were quite enthusiastic and you know maybe maybe you were hoping to see it grow and develop into something more than it is but I think along the way or something in you has changed perhaps and you're looking I think and maybe wondering if this is the right path for you I feel you're, you're, there's a lot of uncertainty I feel in your head I think for those of you who are you know in regards to your work place your job your career I feel that you have planted those seeds and worked very hard to make sure that you can move on that you can progress in the workplace I think some of you are still perhaps waiting to for that to amount to something some of you have definitely got good news on that front but I feel that some of you are still patiently getting becoming impatient I think for some of you waiting to see you know if you will be rewarded some of you might be kind of thinking, you know, I've put all in this hard work in, but it doesn't seem to be paying off, you know. It's starting to feel a bit negative about the situation, you know, definitely. And Pentacles again is Earth NG, so Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot of Pentacles in your reading. But this is a good indication, really, of financial prosperity I feel most definitely I feel that you do have a lot of financial prosperity coming your way I feel that for some of you it's due to your absolute commitment to and, and loyalty to your work something that you very much love and this card indicates a promotion is definitely on the cards for you a new start a new beginning a new journey in the workplace in your career and it's something that is definitely beneficial for you that will make you happy so I think for, for in regards to career and work and money 
it's definitely all looking really good for you in that department. It, this card can also indicate that new love is also coming in for you, like a new start in love. Because I, I do feel that for some of you Aries out there, maybe even though you might be in a relationship, I do feel that some of you possibly could be tempted. Because I feel that some of you might be drawn to someone else. You might, I don't know if you've necessarily taken action on it you know, steps towards this person, but you definitely are drawn to this person. And Pentacles, again, is Earth energy. So Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Then we have the Tower. So I, I do foresee that um, events are going to escalate, perhaps where matters of the heart are concerned within your love life. I think that I think that things are going to come crushing down. I, I feel that you are going to perhaps conf confront your partner. This is the nicest way of putting it about this. You're going to let the cat out of the bag, so to speak. It is going to really cause a lot of stress and emotion to you and to your, the person, you know, that's on the receiving end of this. But in many ways, you are going to feel very emotionally stressed out and, and it's going to be extremely painful for you because I feel that there are feelings there still. But I feel that you're torn between more than one person you know you you do feel I think think that there will be a lot of guilt it you will find it very overwhelming and I think it will cause a lot of damage a lot of friction a lot of stress in your life it might distract you for a time you know, that where it affects other areas of your life for a while. But I do feel that you are quite capable of keeping those quite separate. You know, you will gain that control back, I think, in order to keep your personal life separate, perhaps, from your job. But I feel that you won't feel good about this, but I think things are going to be quite explosive between you and your partner it is going to cause a lot of upset and things are definitely going to change within the relationship I don't know that you will be together at the end of it what some of you ultimately will decide that this is not right for you because you've been having doubts for a while even though this other person that you're with wants commitment some of you inevitably are going to be drawn to another person and I think find, follow that path, perhaps. Some of you might not follow either path. And the tower is a major arcana card. Then next we have the king of cups. So I think with the king of cups, I feel that you are going to find that you do have a lot of support around you. I feel that you are a person that has been quite loyal and, you know, and, and quite, and, and being, and being quite a loving person in the past. But I just feel that something in you sh has changed and I feel that you feel emotionally compelled to do something about it. I feel that you have a lot of emotion. Maybe emotions are very high at the moment, but the emotion is because, you know, that their feelings 
it's what you feel inside you know it's hard to explain it it's like um you know you feel very stressed out emotionally by what you what this means and what you're doing to the other person but at the same time you know that you're unhappy perhaps in your current situation and you have to do what's right for you the next card you have is the world card so this is a major arcana card so i feel that you are looking possibly i think for some of you mid-july perhaps going into august a new start in your life a new chapter i feel that a lot of you will be moving on where love is concerned i think that some of you are very drawn to someone else and you will be moving on and i feel that you want to start anew you don't want to go down path with your current partner you know knowing that you don't feel as strongly as this person does you want to take a different direction in your life and i think when you do finally break free and do you know follow your heart and do what you truly want i feel that that creates that will create a, an emotional balance for you and it will be like a, a big release for you as much as it is painful a painful situation for your partner and a painful thing for you to have to do i feel that it's something that you need to do for yourself that's right for you and in doing that you create a lot of emotional balance for yourself let's see what nature's whispers has to add you've got clear out the old so yes i think that you have to make sure that you've cleared out anything any past issues that you will that you heal those past issues before you completely move on you know because i feel that some of you are thinking a lot about your past you know perhaps it's all catching up with you and it's kind of saying you know you have to stop thinking about past anything bad from the past things that have gone wrong in the past and in order to move on properly you have to declutter you know and it's encouraging you to create something new and begin again you have to follow your heart your deepest desires and move on but you have to make sure that you heal yourself properly emotionally clear out all those old issues and then you can move on freely so i wish you all the best aries and thank you for joining me at Queen Star Tarot. Tarot. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.